I'm the alpha. Big Ounce is completely cured from cancer. Yes, PewDiePie, eat that poison ivy. Disgusting. Oh, here he comes. See, guys, I've had enough of Kevin. I don't want to deal with his antics anymore. Lander's doing very well. Oh, oh, he fell in the bucket. Good morning to baby. They both have that big old hump on their nose. Can't wait till this man is 200 pounds. Good morning, everybody. Today is the last day before graduating this boy into a larger enclosure. Gustavo Fring here is now much bigger and healthier. This is the condition he was in two weeks ago. He was missing half his teeth and he was very emaciated. I've been letting him digest for a while. That's why he's so uppity. But as a part of training him, I'm gonna go ahead and move him over here and make him eat off this rock. Take a look at this. Come on, buddy. There you go. My goal is to get him to go on top of the rock completely, though, for the food. Son, come on. You know the rules. Come up on the rock. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Look at that little fella. Come on now. There you go. Very good. How about you let me touch your tail? Oh, come on. See, look, he's friendly now. He's a friendly little boy with a soft little tail. And now that this guy's completely healed up and ready to go to a bigger enclosure, look how much bigger his legs and neck are. This little guy is also completely healed up. And I think you guys will be very happy to see this. Lay down, Big Ounce. Lay down. Lay down. He's been doing a lot of yahoos today, you guys. Also, I'm changing the sheets, but look at this. Well, I have this little boy on his back here. Look at his two. Boomer. This is what it looked like a month ago, and this wasn't even at its worst. This man no longer has any tumor at all. Just this tiny little nub. So Big Ounce is completely cured from cancer now. I can officially say it. Thank you guys so much for praying and caring about this little fella because that literally cured him of his cancer. The doctor said this was a miracle. I had two to three different vets and experts say that I should euthanize him, and I had multiple other people say that I should probably just remove the tumor. Some of the vets said that if we removed it, it would probably kill him. So thank you guys so much for praying because after just giving him his anti-inflammatory medicine and feeding him and giving him his favorite foods and putting him in a not stressful environment, this man made a complete and full recovery and he no longer has any tumor on his, but oh, where's he going? God cured Big Ounce. So thank you guys again so much. I love you and I appreciate you. And now that Big Ounce's Breaking Bad arc is over, it's time for us to reclaim Ounce Topia. Come on, Big Ounce. Let's go get your wife back. But first, I'm going to give these old watermelons to the cappies. Hey, it's me, the Indian Bullfrog. I got a wife now. Please like this video or I'll eat your family. Who are, for some reason, hiding behind the barn. Come on, children. Time for your water. Every so often, I try to just sit here with them so they'll like me. Eventually, they get more and more comfortable, and then I just start petting them. I'm glad we did adopt those other two, because now they have a little bit of a herd here. And they seem to be a lot happier in more numbers. And Kumala and Sylvester are, for some reason, a lot less interested in this water than they are. Well, I'll get over here and start eating this water. What is biting my elbow? I don't know why these guys are so afraid to just start chewing on the watermelon. Kumala and Sylvester are a lot more skittish when it comes to new foods. But at least they're a lot more comfortable with me now. Just have a little bite. Oh, come on, buddy. Just start chewing it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, now that I have a real good look at them, I'm really not sure which ones are boys and which ones are girls. Hey, couldn't help but notice you hadn't liked this video yet. Your family sure does look tasty. I'm 90% sure this is Gort, because look at his nose. Look at that big old nose this boy got. And this is Kumala, and I'm pretty sure he's a male too. And this is Quandale over here, and I think that might be Sylvester, which is a female. But Sylvester could also be a little boy, because look at his little nose. The best way to sex them now is to look in their cloacas, and I don't want to do that because it might stress them or hurt them. So we'll know for sure in about a year. What will be really cool is to watch these little guys get into little disputes when they get older and their hormones start raging. I think I have a little clip of that that I could show you guys. Stupid about and butter. Sure has been a while since Quandale let me pet her like this. Just like when she was a baby, whenever I scratch her, the hair on the back of her neck gets all puffy and cute. And now polishing off a whole watermelon for them is not a big task. When they were little, that was a lot of food for them, but now it's really not that much. See what I mean though, guys? They both have that big old hump on their nose. So for all I know, these could both be male, but it doesn't matter if they are. Here at the Urban Rescue Ranch, we aren't really about breeding anyways, and these guys wouldn't be able to breed for another year or two. Regardless, look at that little ear. Yeah, let me scratch that belly. Let me scratch that belly. 
And these guys are a lot bigger than they used to be. It is neat to me though that different capybaras have different personalities based on how they're raised. These guys don't seem to care too much at all about the watermelon. And my friend yesterday told me that her capybaras won't swim in the water that she gave them. She made a big old pool for them, but they won't swim in it. And this is still a very friendly bowl. Oh, I sure do love Gort. Gort is still by far my favorite of this giant group of clappy blappies. And I think he always will be. I can't wait till this man is 200 pounds. Oh, sweet wampum. How's about you let me scratch you too, huh, buddy? For some reason, this little man's just running around crying. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and give Kevin a little visit now and get some eggs from him. I'm gonna give a little bit of this to the kangaroos because I don't want to disrupt their gut flora too much. Good morning, crusty crew. Look at these two precious beans just sitting under here. Just wasting the day away under here i'm just gonna leave some of this for these guys i'm trying not to bother the baby's wife too much because this is a new environment for her and it's a little spooky oh no how's about you guys get out of here go they're all eating the dang kangaroo food they love the kangaroo food come on children go whoa was that the baby's wife come on children get out get out of there gort get out of there boy i don't want them mixing too much with the new kangaroo and when kangaroos are young they're very prone to shock this little fella could literally just die from getting spooked. Kangaroos are actually pretty nerfed that way. But all right, I'm not gonna be able to herd these guys back because they're too headstrong. So I'm just gonna leave these doors closed for now. I refilled this water literally yesterday and now it's disgusting already. And it looks like the baby seems to be enjoying his treat. Good morning, the baby. It's been a little while since he's had a watermelon too. This is usually a summer treat for him. This boy doesn't always get to enjoy the finer things in life, mainly just grass and kangaroo feed. So it's nice to give them a little treat like this every now and then but you don't want to give kangaroos too much sugar because it could disrupt the bacterial gut flora in their stummies and then they get the poops this one was a bit older and mushier so i decided to give it to these guys and the pigs but the house is coming along really well they're finishing up the plumbing and the electric today oh sweet wampum and while those guys finish that i'm going to give the rest of this to these pigs and they're going to eat that like it's nothing disgusting the goats and the sheep have done a great job so far of trimming all of this grass and we have frogs in here a bunch of them actually look at that you guys you see that little leopard frog the grass is finally growing back in this little area here also as you can see homelander's doing very well oh, oh he fell in the bucket come on buddy get out of there get out of there you fell in the bucket little dingus just fell in that bucket but the sheep are a lot more friendly with me now that i've been hand feeding look at these precious creatures but they are a little bit sussy these guys do be fighting with the goats for food sometimes not really fighting just being weak but look at how they have all these things all over their face and all of them are a little bit more comfortable with me now they let me pet them and touch their backs i'm gonna actually have to hire somebody to shear these guys now because it is gonna start getting hot pretty soon although i was told we didn't have to but i just think it'd be really cool to have a nice little sheep wool maybe we could make a hat out of it or a minecraft bed also kevin's trying to attack the goats as you can see you see he's probably gonna fall over this thing again come on kevin just go ahead and start eating we have a lot more wildflowers now and the beehive actually is really healthy you guys i was wrong you've got a lot of little guys coming and going from there <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to need to check on it and trim down all those weeds around it. And in addition to all this really tall grass, we got two little eggs here. So Karen actually laid two eggs in the last few days. Look at these beautiful eggs. Oh boy, it's already starting. Kevin made his noise. Oh, here he comes. Hey, Kevin, is that you? You don't need a riot shield. You can just kiss him on his little adorable Little adorable little head. Mm, 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 mm. And I can whisper sweet little nothings into his ear. I love you, Kevin. Let's take a look at its nice little lemon-shaped butt. Hey, soldier boy. And soldier boy is watching me teach Kevin a little lesson here about dominance and strength. Guys, this is all you have to do. You just have to hold his head like this. And as long as you keep his mouth shut, he's not going to bite. You could even hold his beak if you want to. If he bites you with the side of his beak, it doesn't hurt. It's that front part that's really sharp. Eventually, he's going to get tuckered out and give up. But might as well just start walking over to that nest now with him. <laughs> give me a little kiss. You see, guys, I've had enough of Kevin. I don't want to deal with his antics anymore. I'm sorry, Kevin. Am I teaching you a valuable lesson about dominance in front of your wife and child? Aw. <laughs> you just kiss me on the lips and not bite me or hurt me at all? <laughs> I'm the alpha, Kevin. I'm the alpha. I'm the alpha. Go. I'm the alpha, Kevin. Go. Get out of here. 
Yes. See guys, that's all you have to do. It's not that hard. Hey Karen, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those eggs now. Oh, sweet wampum. Look at these beautiful eggs. I'm just gonna put these in my pocket. That's a beautiful, freshly laid, big old yellow egg. Hello there, PewDiePie. How's about you eat all this grass? Yes, PewDiePie, eat that poison ivy. But okay, I'm just gonna put this in my pocket. Goats actually do love poison ivy, you guys. It's great. And I'll grab this other little guy. Sheep also eat poison ivy on a regular basis. But isn't this great though? you guys we finally have all these adorable little animals frolicking through the tall grass this is the best time of year to be a grazing animal in texas every one of these animals doesn't really even need supplementary food just because there's so much grass for them to eat but also what's interesting is karen's eggs will start to turn white after a few days in the sun it doesn't mean they went bad but it means that they're a little less fresh just look at the difference in these two eggs you guys and i'll take the best care of these i possibly can these are going to go straight into our incubator kevin where they're actually gonna hack. I do love and appreciate you. In the real world, the males actually incubate the eggs in the back. And while Kevin is an amazing defender of the nest, he's not a great incubator of the nest. Just like these adorable geese here that have a huge nest of eggs over here that they haven't sat on once. See that nest there, guys? These guys haven't sat on it once. And I'm gonna need to give those eggs to my friends before they go rotten. The leaves on the pecan trees are also coming in. And before Big Ounce and I raid Ounce Topia one last time for his redemption arc, I'm gonna go ahead and put these eggs in the incubator. Okay, now we've got eight in there. Hopefully we have a pretty good hatch rate. Unlike last year, we didn't do too well. I've learned some things and now I have a a humidity tray in the bottom and the top. Humidity's back up to 48 now. That's it for now though, you guys. Love you, appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. In the next video, Big Ounce will storm Ounce Topia and reclaim it for his own. And we'll have a much bigger setup for this little man. But until then, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you. Hey, don't forget, uh, uh, don't forget to check, uh, don't forget to check out the shop underneath.